In this video, we're gonna learn that how to record advance or prepayments to our suppliers, to the our to our vendors. So we have a scenario that we need to create a party first. That is Alhana Traders. We need to create this party. Then we need to issue a down payment in advance of one hundred thousand. So the first step is that we need to create a party. So we go in the maintain tab in the maintain tab we have this vendors so here you need to give a unique ID number that is 103 enter the name is Alhana traders that is the contact information That is a unique account number. That is a mailing name. That is a country. All right, you can select the city that is in the pie. And that is a vendor type that is domestic vendor. That is a, a foreign vendors. That is a wholesaler, retailer, service provider. And that is the telephone number, email ID of your supplier. That is a website address of your supplier. And uh, that is a default terms and conditions are here. And that is a default purchase information that who is that the purchaser in your company who is doing purchasing from this Alhana Traders. And that is a VAT registration number, the tax registration number, and then save it. So our first step that is completed that we create Alhana traders our next step is that we need to record a purchase invoice of 80,000 that we are receiving an invoice of 80,000 from Alhana traders we already issue a down payment of 100,000 to Alhana traders so in this step we need to record an invoice of 80,000 which we receive from Alhana traders so we click on this task and here we have this purchase receive inventory or you can use the option bills and enter the bills both are same click it you need to select the the vendor ID that is Alhana traders that is the invoice due date at invoice date and that is the due date of that invoice let's suppose this invoice is due us on end of this month and that is the invoice reference number and the quantity let's suppose we are purchasing 30 pieces of mobile enter so that is 75,000 enter and then we are purchasing 10 pieces of uh, let's suppose 5 pieces of keyboard or two pieces of keyboard or two pieces of laptops so these are the laptops so let's suppose LG laptops how much it is it is 2600 HP is 2500 yes so now look we are purchasing mobile we are purchasing 30 pieces of mobile and that is uh, 75,000 and uh, we are buying also two laptops so that is 5,000 so now look the total invoice become 80,000 save it and if you want to check the reports go to the reports accounts payable vendor ledgers click on option for this period vendor ID that is Alhana traders press ok so look, look the first we issue a down payment of 100,000 and then we receive an invoice of 80,000 so the remaining 20,000 that is still our current asset so against this 20,000 we receive also an invoice of 20,000 
So we are making another invoice of 20,000. Go in the task. We have purchased receive inventory. You need to select the party account that is Alhana Traders. That is the invoice date. That is the due date of this invoice. This is invoice reference number. And we are ordering five pieces of laptops, the HP laptops. Or make it 10. Okay, five pieces of laptop, HP laptops. That is 2500. That becomes 12,500. Enter. And then four pieces of uh, that Acer laptops that becomes uh, 800, 8800 this much. Or let's suppose if it is two, enter. So that is 16,900. Then we are issuing 10 pieces of let's suppose keyboards. That becomes 17,200. Then we have uh, 20 pieces of hard drives. That becomes 21,200. Or we can decrease the price also to make it lump sum. Or let's suppose we are uh, receive an invoice of this 21,200 and then save it cancel it so we need to check the ledger reports it is refresh so this is the down payment that is 100,000 and against that down payment we receive an invoice of 80,000 so the the remaining balance become 20,000 and then we receive another invoice that is 21,200 so the remaining payable balance now it is 1200 which we need to pay him so in the next step we're gonna pay him 1200 so go in the task and that is the payment select the party that is alhana traders and we are paying him let's suppose a cash of 1200 so that is your two invoices are there and that is your the down payment advances are there so right now we are paying him 1200 so assume it that we're gonna pay against this invoice the last one that is 1200 enter and then save it and if you check the reports the balance become zero again so that is a step that is how you issue a down payment advances of the prepayment to the supplier in stage 50